Auntie, don't eat that. You'll be sick. The cream has turned. Look, it's all lumpy. Good eye, Willard. Mmm. Oh, but you're being a little hasty in your judgment. Give the clotted cream a try. It's delicious. I think I'll stick with my tea. Oh, Willard, you judge things much too quickly. Be a little adventurous. It won't kill you. Ow! But this cup, May, it's cracked. I almost chipped my beak. I wonder what'll break next. Whoa! Excuse me, uh, can you tell us what's happening? Minor technical difficulties. We'll have to stop in the next town and do some repairs for the next 24 hours. Well, it's certainly no mystery why the train broke down. The train breaking down might not be a mystery, Willard, but where we are is. You can say that again, Auntie. We shouldn't have taken this old train back from our last mystery at the charity ball in Bavaria. That was tough work, and I could sure use a vacation. Well, this could be a wonderful place for a vacation, Willard. It looks very quiet. Very creepy is more like it. Now, Willard, don't go judging a book by its cover. It says right here in my trusty guidebook that we're in Zanaville, a lively little tourist town. Lively? Are you sure you're on the right page, Auntie? Yes, and this book is brand new. It was published six months ago. You do have a point about it not being very lively, but like I said... I know, you can't judge a book by its cover. Welcome to Zanaville. I am the mayor of this fine town, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this beautiful place that we call home. I'm Willard Widgeon of the Swiss police, and this is my aunt, Miss Mallard, the world-famous detective. Police? Detective? Oh, are you here on business? No. The conductor told us that the train will be repaired overnight. So we're tourists. Marvelous! That bus will take you to our town's finest hotel. Let's go and talk to the flower vendor. I'm sure she could tell us about some of the sites that we could visit. But, Auntie, we don't want to miss the... <laughs> no, never mind. Hello! Oh! Oh, dear, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> we didn't mean to startle you. My name is Miss Mallard, and this is my nephew, Willard Widgeon. I am Halle Dabler, and this was very clumsy of me. Oh, I must be out of practice. For the last month, we haven't had many tourists. Who appreciate beautiful flowers? My sincere apologies, Mr. Widgeon. Halle is... Um... Distracted, yes? Good, then we're all clear. I mean, we're all set. <laughs> and now you wouldn't want to miss your ride. The driver will be stopping at some of our beautiful landmarks along the way. Ta-ta for now. To Halle with love. Here, I believe you dropped this. Auntie, we just missed our ride to the hotel. I'll gladly give you a lift. I was heading to the hotel to warn Papa of his arriving guests. My friend Vidor is picking me up. I'm sure he won't mind. Your father works at the finest hotel in Zanaville? Oh, what a happy coincidence. Well, not really. He manages it, and it's the only hotel in Zanaville. Papa would be thrilled to have so many guests. How long has your father managed the hotel? For about six months. Ever since the previous owner mysteriously left town and abandoned the castle. Mysteriously just happens to be one of my auntie's favorite words. The previous owner was run out of town. He went to Scotland. Shh. How interesting. Weren't we in Scotland about six months ago, Willard? Yes, uh, for the reading of Great Aunt Abby's will at Duckinville Castle. Now I remember. Someone was impersonating a kiss fire who seeks victims to kiss when the moon is full. What was his name again, Willard? Kiskula. Vidor, look out! Ah! Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. Vidor, what's gotten into you? A little distracted, perhaps? Vidor will have your clothes clean. Won't you, Vidor? Y yes, of course. 
I work at the dry cleaners in town. Good thing we didn't take the bus, Auntie. Willard, have you noticed there are statues missing in this town? I have a feeling that we may have stumbled upon an intriguing mystery. Halle, this came for you. Thank you, Tanya. This is Miss Mallard and Inspector Vision. They'll be staying with us until their train is repaired. Tourist. Hm. Oh, look, Vidor. He sent me another letter. Love is an ocean you must not fear. Even if it separates us, I am always near. Oh, isn't he positively romantic? Well, I must be off. I will bring your clothes back shortly, Willard. Thank you, Vidor. Anything for you, Holly. He appears to be sweet on you. Vidor? No, we've been friends forever. He's like a brother to me. Besides, he's happy that I'm in love. So, you know who your secret admirer is? Yes, he's left me many clues. I've been receiving these letters for a month. Halle, my daughter, how wonderful! You've brought guests! Ah, and what a lovely guest you are! Madam, welcome to my hotel. I am Igor. Papa! There are more <laughs> guests coming! A whole train full! We're back in business! Fabulous! Go and tell Vanya! Have her prepare a feast for our guests! Welcome, one and all, to the finest hotel in Zanaville. Please make yourselves at home. Igor will take very good care of you. Right, Igor? Isn't this the only hotel in town? Well, yes, but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's Zanaville's finest. Igor, why don't you give our guests your best room? Uh, separate rooms, yes. Uh, which floor would you like? How about the third floor? The view must be spectacular. No, no, that won't do at all. Uh, the view is much nicer on the second floor, right, Igor? And besides, we wouldn't have anything less for a world-famous detective and an inspector in the Swiss police. The third floor is occupied. A very private duck pays me for the entire floor. He arrived a month ago, and if it weren't for him, the hotel would have closed down. A month ago? Really? Yes, and he left strict orders not to be disturbed. I am the only one who deals with him. <gasps> Someone was staring at me. He was right there. It was awful. He wore a black cape. And look! <laughs> You've all been walking in the heat for so long. Perhaps it was your mind playing tricks on you. Sunstroke can do that, you know. Why don't you all get settled into your rooms, and then we'll have some supper. I get the sneaking suspicion that Sunstroke has nothing to do with any of this. Oh, my. These are kiss prints. Hmm. Statues aren't the only things missing around here. <laughs> the mayor is such a screwball! Did you hear him? Sunstroke! Oh, that's a good one! I wish they would all leave. Then I wouldn't have to prepare all this food. They'll be leaving soon enough. They're all scaredy ducks. And then things will be back like in the good old days. I have to deliver these towels to the third floor. I'll come and give you a hand with supper after. Third floor? And I thought only Igor was to have dealings with the mysterious third floor occupant. I must tell Willard. Sorry. Were you in the shower? I could have sworn I heard a... Oh, dear. 
dear. How did this get broken? I don't know. Oh, good. Vidor brought my clothes. Tanya, the housekeeper, must have put them on the bed. But she certainly wouldn't have left this broken vase on the floor. You shouldn't leave your window wide open, Willard. You'll catch cold. I'll get dressed right away and we can go for dinner. Very interesting. Hungarian noodles. Eat. Come on, Willard. Give it a taste. Looks can be deceiving, you know. Or not. This looks positively unappetizing. Ah, I see that Vidor brought your clothes back. I hope you are enjoying Vanya's Hungarian cooking. Both she and Tanya have been here forever. They worked for the previous owner? Yes, they were very upset when he left town. But Papa insisted they stay on when he took over. Uh, say, tell us who this secret admirer is. Ah, uh, yes. I suspect it's the mysterious duck on the third floor. But you must promise not to tell Papa. He's very protective of him. I don't think he would approve. What wouldn't I approve of? Is my beautiful daughter pestering my fine guests? Of course not. She's telling us about the wonderful history of your fine establishment. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. And quite a history it has. There are many books about it in our library. Our guests do not want to read. They want to be entertained. Igor, Halle, music! Willard, I get the distinct impression that the mayor is trying to keep something from us. Well, I sure hope it's not the rest of the meal. There's got to be something good to eat here. <clears throat> I'm famished. Ah, Vidor! Thank you for cleaning my clothes so quickly. But what happened to your wing? It's nothing. Just a slight burn at work. It happens sometimes. Whew. What wonderful dancing. This was left at the front desk for you, Halle. Oh, it's from my secret admirer. Our love transcends ocean's blue. Here, I offer you one more clue. Do not overlook the past. If so, our love will not last. Oh, I cannot wait to meet my secret admirer on the third floor. I'm afraid I can't stay. I know that look, Auntie. What are you thinking? I'm thinking there is a stranger mystery going on in Xanaville. Do not overlook the past. If so, our love will not last. You know what they say, Auntie. Love works in mysterious ways. Especially in Xanaville. What exactly am I looking for, Auntie? The books that Igor mentioned on the town's history. Why? Zed? Zana? Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Ow! Bravo, Willard. This is it. But, Auntie, this book is about Zana Doom, not Zana Ville. Precisely. <gasps> I can't stay here anymore. Oh, it's simply awful. I'm scared. What's going on? We're leaving. Someone was in my room. He ran out by the window. We're going back to the train. He had on a black cape. Please, don't leave. I, I can explain. Of course we can explain. You see, this is a very old establishment, and it creaks a lot. But it's still a fine hotel. I assure you there is nothing wrong. I found kiss marks. My window was open. Someone came into my room and put them there. What do you make of that, Willard? It certainly looks like kiss marks impressed into the pillow, Auntie. I agree. I suspect we have a kiss fire in our midst. Oh, oh, a kiss fire? No. Here? Here? Kiss this is ridiculous. There hasn't been a kiss fire here since... Since he was run out of town and went into hiding in Scotland. That is where Willard and I first learned he really exists. We had discovered someone was impersonating him to do evil. But when the mystery was solved, we found a note. Kistula lives. 
It is now obvious that he came back here to his true home, and I know where he is. This is Willard Widgeon of the Swiss police. Open this door right now, or I'll have to use force. You're not Kiskula. No, but I am. And what do you want with me? You're my mystery duck. The one who's been sending me love notes. <gasps> but who is she? Love notes? Whatever are you speaking of? I have never seen you before. This is my fiance. She's been living in a room down the hall while we plan our wedding. Fiance? Don't try and talk your way out of this one, Kiskula. Willard, wait, you're judging to- So you're back to your old ways, Count. I told you that you could live here in secret only if you kept out of sight. You're wrong. I am a changed duck. I love my bride-to-be and I will never kiss another duck for as long as I live. Someone must be impersonating me again. Tell them, Tanya. He's right. He has many capes. Some I threw out because they were worn. I even took one to the cleaners. Anyone could have taken those capes and pretended to be the Count. Out this Kiskula! Out this Kiskula! Out this Kiskula! I know that Kiskula is there, and we demand that he leave at once. He has scared the tourists away again! Out this Kiskula! Vidor, what are you doing? Don't you see, Holly? I'm trying to save you from a Kispire. You think you love him, but he's bad for you. He has been scaring off tourists and ruining our town. He's not worthy of you. I assure you that this Kiskula is not the one responsible for scaring off your tourists. He's not? I, too, thought it was Kiskula running the tourists out of town, until I remembered what I've been telling my nephew Willard all along, that you must not judge a book by its cover. In fact, I also learned there was more to this mystery than a simple Kispire. When we first arrived in town, it appeared quite obvious that all was not well in Xanaville, or should I say, Xanadoom, as I suspect the old sign would have read. What I thought to be my trusty guidebook was in fact a misleading representation of the town. When it was published six months ago, the town was in its full glory, for you had run Kiskula out of town. Since then, someone has tried very hard to hide all the remaining signs of Kiskula's presence, and that person is you, Mayor. Get the mayor! Get out of of the course mayor! it was me! Who else can turn this town around and make it a viable tourist spot again? Everyone should be thanking me for that! Perhaps, but what you didn't count on was someone impersonating Kiskula, someone who knew you had secretly allowed the Kispire to return to his ancestral home. Igor! He is the only one who knew the secret! That is not so! For two other people knew he was back, but they did not mind. They longed for the good old days when Kiskula lived in the castle. You forgot to get rid of a key piece of evidence, Mayor. A complete history of Kismore Castle and its ancestors. Tanya and Vanya weren't Kiskula's employees, as Halle thought. They are, in fact, his relatives. As I suspect the missing portraits in the lobby would attest to, and why they had dealings with the third floor occupant, despite Igor's orders. Wait! Someone was trying to pin the blame on Kiskula. Unfortunately for Halle, the real Kiskula is in love with someone else. Halle thought her secret admirer was the mysterious third floor resident. But love is blind, and she didn't follow the clues in the love notes. This is the clue that brought everything to light. And when Tanya confirmed that she had brought one of Kiskula's capes to the dry cleaners, the same dry cleaner who broke a vase in Willard's room and cut his wing, not burned it at work as he said, Vidor! He's been using Kiskula's cape for the past month to scare the tourists away to make the real Kiskula look bad. No! Vidor is not a real criminal. His is a crime of passion. He is Halle's secret admirer. 
if you compare the handwriting on this dry cleaning receipt, you will see that it is identical to the handwriting in your love letters. But, Vidor, why pretend to be Kiskula? You always took me for granted, Holly. Can't you see? I love you. I've always loved you. You thought my letters were from him. You fell in love with the wrong duck. So I had to pretend to be Kiskula. So when you found out who he really was, you would love him no longer. And then perhaps you would notice me. Oh, Vidor, I'm so blind. My true love was standing right in front of me the entire time. Oh. Isn't love beautiful? Does anybody have it kiss you? Now, if you would all trust me on this, I know exactly how to get Xanadu up and ready for tourist season again. With this double wedding ceremony, we embrace the past and Xanavil becomes once again Xanadum, ancestral home of the one and only Kiskula. <laughs> Miss Mallard, if you would do us the honors. I think these honors are yours. <laughs> Why, Auntie, I do believe that we can now judge this book by its cover. Winner, I do believe you are right. 